Hey guys, last Wednesday we finally got the first trailer for the next Ghostbusters movie, and we also got a title of the film, which is Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Today we are going to be talking about the stuff that happened in the trailer and what we are likely going to see in the next movie. In the start of the trailer, we are seeing New York City set in the summertime with the music playing the song Cruel Summer. At some point you hear the music slowly stop, letting us know that the ghosts are coming. After you see some people looking at that strange cloud thing heading towards them, we start to see giant sharp icicles suddenly popping up out of the ground and people are trying to get away from them. You also see the ferris wheel start to freeze with people still inside it. In this wide angle shot, you can see that this ghost cloud is much bigger and dangerous than the ones we've seen in previous films because more sharp icicles violently pop up from under the ground and roads and vehicles getting frozen around the Ghostbusters firehouse. Then after that, we start to see Ecto-1 all fixed up after the events of Ghostbusters Afterlife, letting us know that the Ghostbusters are going to try and stop this new threat. After that, we start getting some new shots of New York City, along with characters from Afterlife, Phoebe, Trevor, Lucky, and a new character that hasn't appeared in Afterlife. During those three shots, we also start to hear Pat Oswalt's voice in the trailer, and we hear him say, For the first time in New York history, People froze to death in the middle of July. We then get a scene of Phoebe asking what it is. Then we see original Ghostbuster Ray Stance, played by Dan Aykroyd, call it the Death Chill. According to how Ray describes the Death Chill, it seems to have the power to literally scare people to death, as well as slowly freeze them to death. For example, we get a scene of Lucky slowly getting frozen by either the Death Chill or by the main villain that's causing it. Which, by the way, according to these two shots, we could be getting a brand new villain in this film. I'm honestly glad about this because we would be getting something completely new rather than bringing back an old villain like Gozer the Gozerian or Vigo the Carpathian. Because we already saw Gozer come back in Ghostbusters Afterlife, which was the third film in the original series. So it would be much wiser not to bring Vigo from Ghostbusters 2 back yet in this film. That is the sequel to Afterlife and the fourth film in the original franchise. From what we've seen in the trailer, this new villain seems to be a very big, chilling, and dangerous threat for the Ghostbusters to handle. Besides Dan Aykroyd's Ray Stance, we also get a scene of Ernie Hudson's Winston Zenmore and Bill Murray's Peter Venkman, showing us that the original Ghostbusters are going to be shown more in this movie. Unlike in Ghostbusters Afterlife, which was quick cameos that had one or two scenes with them. We also get some scenes that show the characters from Afterlife, like Carrie Coon's Callie, Finn Wolfhart's Trevor, McKenna Grace's Phoebe, Paul Rudd's Gary Gruberson, Logan Kim's podcast, and Celeste O'Connor's Lucky. We also get a first look at some of the film's new characters, played by Kumail Nagiani, Patton Oswalt, and James A. Caster. At the end of the trailer, after we get a quick look at the possible new villain, we see Callie, Trevor, Phoebe, and Gary wearing new Ghostbuster suits which seem to be red coats with a no-go symbol on their left side. Kind of like the normal Ghostbuster jumpsuit having a no-go logo on their right side. Let me know in the comments how excited you are for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire coming March 29th next year. But anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And if you want me to do more trailer breakdowns like this, then let me know in the comments. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.